Philip, our ordinand who's faithfully served here for six years and who will be ordained in June, now offers a reflection. I hope I never lose the sense of awe and wonder that I first felt when I stepped foot inside. Over time, I've learned to appreciate the joy of being one of many footsteps that cross the threshold here. Some more regularly than others, but all fellow travellers. By and large, this is a place of fleeting encounters where we try to join in with the conversations that people are already having. There's nothing complicated about it. It means opening the doors of the church at times when people are walking past, offering them a reason to glimpse inside. Early morning services for commuters repeated every 15 minutes in case they miss a train. Lunchtime choral classics allowing tour groups to listen to sublime music in our wonderful building. Evening rush hour jazz offers a spring in the step as you leave the city on your way home. Meeting so many different people here, often for just a short amount of time, I've grown to learn to listen to the heart as well as the mind, recognising that our eyes and mouths can so often let us down. We judge what we see and often say the wrong thing, but in our hearts we know what is right. Just as the disciples recognised their hearts were burning when they met Jesus before their brains recognised his presence. We were made by and for love unconditional love of one another and of God. Learning to live in that love is the journey of faith to which we have all been called by Jesus. It's the journey of a lifetime, which is now calling me away from this place to different people and a different path. Maybe we'll meet along the way. <laughs>